uh, you're making all these decisions in the morning. And then if, if you have this app that simply asks, you know, is anybody in the house um, uh, currently, um, or have they resulted positive for COVID? Uh, has anybody been recommended to go get tested for COVID? Has anybody traveled to a high risk community, you know, outside of Massachusetts or a high risk area outside of Massachusetts? Or are you experiencing any of these symptoms? It, it gives you that pause to sit there and go, well, you know, me, no, but, you know, my wife, um, you know, had a possible exposure at work and has been recommended to go in for testing. So you're going to, if you, if you answer honestly, you'll sit there and say, oh, well, my wife is, and you'll check no. And then you'll get a notice saying you shouldn't go to work until um, your wife's results have come in. You know, it's, it's to get people thinking and to help assist people with um, the decision-making process. And it's a constant educational kind of reminder of what the symptoms we're looking for, what um, these exposures are. And in the municipal sector, we've had individuals where they've been completely asymptomatic, but um, at home that evening, they've realized that I couldn't smell a candle, I couldn't smell food, um, and they've gone out, got tested that evening, resulted positive, and, and we didn't end up having an exposure in the workplace. And um, we're looking to take that same success and you know, apply it here, mm -hmm. full setting. So in the school system, the teachers, all of the faculty and staff did get an email so that they could enroll in the um, health track app. And so too did all of the families so that they could enroll their children. You know, hopefully in the morning, you know, a mom who has a couple of kids will go through and answer those questions just quickly. And, you know, as Sean just said, hopefully that will kind of jar that person's thinking to make them say, hmm, he is kind of sniffly today now that I'm thinking about it. And, you know, it brings to those kinds of questions into your mind of why is that? You know what I mean? Sometimes, mm -hmm. as Sean was just saying, you're in such a hurry in the morning to get yourself up to work, to get the kids out to school, to get the lunches packed or whatever it is that you're doing. You don't really stop and take that time to think about what you're doing. So hopefully the, op the app will get us to that place where people are thinking, hmm, like, let me take a real quick look at my child and, and see what's going on with that kiddo this morning. Um, but as Kathy will share with you, um, in the schools, even if someone fills out the app, we still want parents to give our nurses a call. Because, you know, sometimes it, it's good for parents to have that conversation with the school nurse. It's good for the school nurse to know the, child, the mom's making a decision not to send that kid to school. And certainly Kathy can talk much more articulately to that point. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Um, just to take sort of a step backwards, is just to kind of clarify a little bit in terms of the school district, um, we have asked people in the honor system to do that self check in every morning, whether that's staff or parents of students. So it's definitely something we've been doing. An app is definitely an option. You know, we've been doing kind of on the honor system and we have a Google doc that we ask parents to fill out and it asks those same questions that that health track will be act asking. So a health track will be another tool um, to gather data um, with. We definitely you know, when you think about it, there are a lot of reasons for absence. Yes, COVID is a very important one, but in terms of data collection, there are a lot of other reasons that kids are absent from illness, other illnesses to injuries, to surgery or bereavement or any other reason. So it's important for us to know those things um, and to track all the data for any kind of COVID or COVID-like absence within the district as well to keep our numbers kind of so that we're all on the same page, if that makes sense. And we like to have conversations with the families to kind of gather that data. Where was an exposure? Wasn't an exposure? Well, did you travel? So we have clarity as well.